just put on what you got when you wake up in the morning and you just record with your bonnet on bonnet gang hey bonnet gang 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 my bad prissy p i had to say it Come and eat with flavor, cause it's flavor time. Come and eat with flavor, cause it's flavor time. Come and eat with flavor, cause it's flavor time. Cause it's flavor time. Cause it's flavor time. That's enough. Cause I got it all on. <laughs> What's up, Flavor Fam? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're being here, welcome back. And if you're being here, welcome back. So today, you guys, we are gonna be trying some Korean snacks. Um, I got these when I was in Georgia, and they had a whole little H Mart store that I went to, and I just picked up a whole bunch of little goodies. So let me say my grace right quick so we can try out this treat. Amen. So, just in case y'all wondering, y'all, we're going to do a good morning challenge. It is New Year's, okay? And I just wanted to wake up and just let you guys know that I love everybody, okay? And I thank all y'all for being here. I thank everybody for supporting me and everything that y'all have done for me when it comes down to sharing, watching my videos, liking, commenting, subscribing, everything, everything. I appreciate everybody. And so we're going to do a good morning challenge where you just wake up and leave on your Sunday's best. Be comfortable. It's pretty much like the Be Beautiful Challenge. It's just a good morning challenge. Y'all can eat your cereal. Y'all can eat whatever type of breakfast you wanted. But this morning, I did want to try these snacks. Okay, so we're going to leave it at that. Now, y'all know. Y'all see this bonnet, right? You got my name on it. Flavor Eats. If y'all want one of these bonnets, y'all go check out the Smith Bunch. And I'm going to leave her link to her um, website in the description box. And I'm going to leave the link to their page, to their channel, in the description box. Also, me and them were supposed to do a collab, but we were just so busy when we was in Atlanta that um, time just really got away from us. So I still got my snacks that I was going to do with them. And I'm just going to go ahead and try them. So y'all, I don't even know what half of this stuff is. These are, I don't know what this stuff is. I just picked it up and was hoping that it was going to be good. And I got some little Kit Kats back here, strawberry Kit Kats. I already opened them because I had some of these before. When I was with my brother, well, when my brother was in Korea, he had bought me these. But these are um, strawberries. They had the ones that he had bought me before was strawberry. It was um, it was one that would look like white chocolate, but it wasn't white chocolate. And they were, they taste like strawberry too. They were so good. And then I got my what's this tapioca? How y'all say that? Tapioca, tapioca balls that go into the boba tea. So I ended up making me some tea back here. You really can't even see them little balls in it. Well, you can see them a little bit. But I made me some tea to go with it. I got some green tea cream wafers. I got some tropical pineapple marshmallows. I got some butter coconut cookies. I grabbed all of these out of the store, y'all. So these might, I don't know, some of this stuff might be actually in the regular store. I don't know. This is just what I grabbed. Some honey butter chips. And I had opened these chips too. I was hungry. I had um, y'all can't even see me. I had opened these chips whenever I had first bought them. Got my tea over here, y'all. But these are actually called shrimp chips, and these are pretty good. I should have got. I thought I had a bigger bag. I thought I grabbed a big bag, but I didn't. But this is what they look like. They don't really look like chips. It's like a little puff. But they don't taste like shrimp. Mm, mm, mm. Now what I do with my straw? With this little boba, um, the little tapioca, whatever, you gotta boil that. I thought you just open it and pour it in your drink. 
But I'm so glad I looked up the directions for it. Cause you actually have to cook it first. And I had to boil it for, you have to boil it into the um, little balls float to the top. Then you put them in some cold water. Then you put them in like a bowl with some sugar and stuff like that. I didn't know that. Mm. That's so good. I've been eating them things like cereal. Shame on me. I love this bonnet, y'all. And she um, customizes them herself, her and her daughters, and I think her husband helps out. And I love it. And she made everybody one for Christmas. I thought it was pretty dope of her. This is what these look like, y'all. What did it say? Sweet potato shaped snack. Stuck together. I was trying to get one that wasn't stuck together. See if y'all can see that. What y'all doing for New Year's? What are y'all doing? What do y'all have? What kind of traditions do y'all have that y'all be doing? Mm. Me, I'm supposed to be cooking some greens and some type of pork and some type of beans. Y'all know how we do for New Year's, so. My boyfriend don't eat the beans, but he will eat the pork and the collard greens. Mm. And every year I make collard greens with the, um, either I use pork belly or the hog jaws and some pork um, neck bones. And we make that every year. So that's what I'm making this year. And I just wasted my chips all on the phone. And then, I'm gonna try these. The green tea ones. And then y'all, I have put in a 60 day notice telling them that we was gonna move. Cause like, our lease was gonna be up. And um, we was looking for a place, but then my boyfriend decided that we shouldn't move or whatever, we should stay here. After I had already put in the lease. But we wasn't sure yet what we was gonna do. So I called them today and they told us we still had to move. I'm like, oh my God, cause we was trying to avoid moving. We hate moving. So they gonna give us a, um, we're gonna pretty much move. We gotta move anyway because uh, somebody already leased our apartment. At first it was good, but then that green powder flavor started kicking in. I don't know about this. I don't like that. Mm -mm. But yeah, so now we gotta move. He said it's really just like right around the corner from us. Which it might be good because she said it's closer to the leasing office and the lease is off. The leasing office is by the pool. So hopefully it won't be too bad. So we end up we gotta end up moving by the 13th of January. This is the honey butter chips. We're gonna see. What does it taste like? But yeah. Okay, that ain't bad. It tastes like butter. And like a little bit of honey. I would buy these again. It remind me of like a popcorn chip or something. Mm-hmm. I like that. 
they had a big bag but I was scared to get it because I didn't think I was gonna like it mm. that's good mm. I'm gonna try these tropical pineapple marshmallows. So yeah. So if y'all don't see, so if y'all see me doing like really quick videos, it's more than likely because I'm trying to pack and I'm trying to do stuff. Um, I'll try to give y'all a little tour of the newer, the new um place. It's gonna be the same as that place we in now, but with with no stuff in it. Little marshmallows. They look like little yellow marshmallows. I'm trying to show y'all without me being all in the way. Mm. I knew these was gonna be good. These are so good. Mmm. I can eat that. And so now we're gonna try the butter coconut cookies. They look like little crackers. Can y'all see that? They need like little crackers, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. I like that. The only thing I don't like is the green tea wafers. And I actually had a feeling I wasn't going to like them because that's actually the only scent that I picked up that I was like, I probably won't like this. <laughs> but I just wanted to try something different. Because I know I like pineapple. I know I like butter. I like honey. I like coconut. I like shrimp. <laughs> but I'm not really a green tea, like a matcha green tea type of person. Mm. Y'all know I love my bubble tea. Oh my God. I'm glad I found that. Me and my boyfriend probably gonna end up going back up there to get some um some more stuff. Cause um Bougie Bites, she told us where to go to get some more stuff, like a bigger store. And I wanna go back in there. Mm. My bad, y'all. I'm back. My um camera ran out of spice, so still got my cookie here. Mm. So we gotta move. Oh my god! I don't know how we're gonna do this because we won't prepare it. So I think half the stuff we got is going in the trash, and we gotta be on the second floor. We hate being on the second floor. We always been on the third floor. So, I don't know. Cause I do not want to hear nobody stomping their feet on top of my my roof. <laughs> and she said the one that's on the first floor won't be available to the seventeenth. But we have to be out before the end. And we rented a garage. I told my boyfriend what we might can do is wait for the one for the first to be the seventeenth to be available. Put all our stuff in the garage, and we can get us a room until the other room, until the other apartment is available. Mm. Ooh, a pineapple ball is good. Marshmallow. Mm. I'm gonna let y'all see this bonnet. I know y'all seen it in my other video. Look look at that. And the other side of it is blue. Yeah, I can't see, I can't talk. I need to go back to bed with my bonnet on. 
This is, but this is one of the bonnets that's so pretty that you don't want to mess them up. I do not want to mess up my bonnet. Mm. And she got bonnets for babies. Because eventually I plan on getting getting one for my um my best friend baby because she got a lot of hair mm. Mm. and y'all i'm trying to debate on if i want to like i still got in my head like as far as my business and stuff go but I'm trying to debate on if I want to go back to work or if I want to just continue building my business and doing my YouTube thing. Because I feel like if I go back to work, it's going to interfere with how I record and as far as me making my product. So I'm not sure yet. on what I want to do. I feel like my business is growing. And of course, like any business, it's going to start off a little slow and then it gets bigger and bigger. So, I'm still kind of debating on that. I like my money but I do know when I was working doing that um delivering that beer and then I had to come home and record that was hard y'all and then I didn't even have time to spend with my family because I was so tired and I was so drained from delivering beer all day yeah, all I wanted to do was go to bed. Like, when I was done recording, I was laying down. So, the thing is, like, I don't want to work a job that's going to drain the life out of me. To the point where I can't do nothing and I can't enjoy my life. And I can't enjoy my kids. And I can't enjoy my day. This is the first time I've been without a job for for three months. Because I really haven't really looked. Look, once I, once I got fired, when I hurt my leg, I was really more about pushing for my brand and putting my own, getting my own business up. Because my dream is to never work for anybody ever again. That's how I, I just, that's just my dream. I went to the unemployment office and the lady was like, if you don't look for these jobs, we can't pay you for unemployment. And she said, what kind of job do you want? And I said, to be honest, lady, I don't want to work for nobody. I, I mean, it is what it is. I have been blessed enough to have my boyfriend to help me help me and he help support my family. He makes enough where I can stay home. I just hate staying home because I like my money. But at the same time, I can work more on my product, get y'all better product out here, get these videos out. And I can spend more time with my kids. Because I was on the road for eight months. And I barely saw my kids. My son hardly knew who I was. I didn't know what grade my kids was in when I came back home. Like this year, I didn't know what grade my kids was in. Because I was on the road for so long. I would come home for a few days and go back on the road for seven to ten days or whatever and come back home for a few days and then go back on the road for seven to ten days and i love trucking don't get me wrong 
and my kids was grown and gone out of the house and living their best life or if they would want to ride with me I would do that and my boyfriend worked too so he can't just be going on the road with me either but that's like the, one of the main jobs that I would prefer to do if I was not gone for so many days That's why I want to do a, um, a local job, being a truck driver. But a lot of these local jobs, like if you not, um, if you don't have to move anything off your truck, or you know, what I'm saying you just drop off your trailer and go, you're not gonna make no money. The money is where you have to actually physically move that stuff because the work is hard. And then when you're on the road, you got to drive a lot of miles. I mean, a lot of miles. Y'all think when y'all, when we drive like five or six hours and we be tired. When I'm in the car, I ain't gonna lie. I be tired after driving five or six hours. But when you're in a truck, you drive for 11 hours. 11 hours so I like this I used to like to get my day started at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning so when that almost at 11 hours get ready to hit I can be parking my truck by 4 or 5 o'clock I think the longest drive I had I think I was in Ohio Ohio, and I don't know. I was somewhere up north, and I had to drive all the way to Florida. Oh my God! I I was like, I'm not gonna make that. I made it though. I made it work. Cause if you don't like, if I got an 18 hour drive, they know of course. If I can only drive 11 hours a day, I ain't gonna get there in one day. I have to take a couple of days to drive there. So what I would do. If I had to drive that long, is I would take a long break in between. So I would drive for about six hours, take a two or three hour break, and then I would drive the rest of the time till my 11 hours was up. But you only get 14 hours in the whole day. So you have to use your time wisely when it comes down to driving. Yo, I didn't know you can make these little tapioca tapioca balls at home. That's another story, but I might try to make some one day. Mm. But yeah. Then I wanted my own truck, but y'all, some of them trucks cost the same amount as a house. But I sure want one. And I don't want to forget how to drive. That's my only fear. Is forgetting how to drive. So I think I do want to go back to school. Not to school, but go to the DMV. And get my tanker. So I can drive. I can drive like tanks and stuff. Like the gas tank. The oil tanks that y'all see people driving. And the hazmat. Cause there's a lot of jobs out here that ask if I have that and that kind of pulls like that kind of stops me from getting other jobs that could be a lot easier because I don't have that extra endorsement on my license because my truck driving license I can just drive a regular 18 wheeler and um or the one that um it's called a reefer we can drive those it's got the refrigerator in the back yeah, as far as like me driving anything hazardous or anything any doubles y'all see those trucks that got two you got to have a whole nother endorsement for the doubles and the triples i'm scared to drive them 
every time I see one of them things pass by me, they always swerving. And what else? Doubles, triples, hazmat. And some other ones I can put on there. But those are like the main ones that can hold a truck driver back from getting a job. And there might be some easier jobs out there for me if I actually get that. So I might work on it. So maybe I can get my tanker and be driving these gas trucks around. They get paid real good money because that is a dangerous job. But like I said, I ain't trying to do nothing too much more physical than what I have to do. Because my knee already messed up. Then the job's trying to tell my lawyer that I didn't get hurt at work because I don't have like proof that I got hurt at work. Because there wasn't no cameras around when I got hurt. So of course they can say, now nah, she didn't get hurt here and send me on about my way. But I'm like, if y'all didn't think I got hurt there, y'all wouldn't have, y'all wouldn't have paid me workers comp the first time. You know what I'm saying? And it just hurts mostly when I make certain movements now. So I can't stand up wrong. And I can't twist my leg the wrong way or my knee will start killing me. But you can tell it's different. This one knee is different than the other knee. Because it's got like a lump over it. Which wasn't there before. Mm. I'm not eating all these ho this whole day on bed, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. but yeah so and that's another reason why I don't want to do a local job that's delivering stuff because my knee is already hurting and so if I get hurt again it might be way worse than what it already is so if I get a job where I can actually just drop off the trailer and go on my own business the, the probably the hardest thing for me or might be just getting in and out of the truck, which that's not going to be hard, but it will be like the hardest part instead of the hardest part being me taking a bunch of stuff off of my truck. Mm -hmm. They do have some jobs where I can use the forklift though. I'd probably be okay with that. But as far as like physically picking up cases and all the other mess, uh-uh. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. I can sit here and eat snacks all day. Because I'm not getting full. I'm not even sure if I'm going to release this video on New Year. Because. I don't know. We're going to see. But I do want y'all to get one of these bonnets, though. And it's soft. It's thick and it's comfy because I keep forgetting that I got it on. Get your bonnet today. Hey, hey, hey. Get your bonnet today. I forgot about it. This Kit Kat. They even had some um some green tea Kit Kats. And they green. And I tried those before. But um they wasn't my favorite. They wasn't bad. I will say they was not bad, but they was not my favorite. Come on. Y'all see that? It got like little specks of um strawberries in it. It reminds me of those little wafers 
the little Keebler Elf wafers. That's what these remind me of. The strawberry ones. Pretty much like the wafer like this, but they were strawberry. That's what this tastes like. But that little pack of um, Kit Kats was like $7. I'm like, maybe I don't buy candy like that. I don't know. Y'all be sure to go check out the Smith Bunch. Go get y'all a bonnet. Go subscribe to their channel. Let them know Flavor Eat sent you. And the link to her um, bonnet is going to be in my description box. And I think I put it in my other um, description box too from yesterday when I was talking about them. And um, I will see you guys later with another video. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to share because it's free. Don't forget to share because it's free. Hey, don't forget to share because it's free. <laughs> All right. Do the good morning challenge. Good morning to you. The birds are chirping. Good morning to you. All right, y'all. Just put on what you got when you wake up in the morning and you just record with your bonnet on. Bonnet gang. Hey, bonnet gang, gang, gang. My bad, Prissy P. I had All to right, say. I'll see y'all later. Peace. <laughs> We're going to cut that part out. <laughs>